But then I notice something that I don't think a lot of people will. Are Tia and Matt not friends anymore? Are they rivals? Do they hate each other? It's got to the point where I can't ignore this anymore. People keep commenting this on my posts, especially the ones where I brought up like Man O'Brien or Tia or some of the other athletes. I'm getting comments like this that basically say that they have fallen out and that they hate each other and that Tia's really pissed off with Matt because Matt learned all of Tia's weaknesses and basically started teaching them to Man O'Brien in order to help her get in front of the CrossFit Games. Matt and Tia used to train together and obviously he will have picked up some of the stuff that she does and generally an overview of how she trains and he will have all of that information about Mal's competitor. And as a coach, he almost has an obligation to train Mal in the way that he sees best to allow her to get as high a finish as possible. I can imagine this would be a little bit of a worry for Tia, but I hadn't heard that they'd fallen out specifically. However, if you look into it, it seems like they haven't hung out or put focus photos of them together on their Instagram for quite a few years now and although they probably have very busy lives and they're now in two completely different places it's clearly left a lot of people wondering whether they have fallen out and they actually don't like each other anymore because Matt is training one of Tia's competitors. Savan has been having DMs about the speculation and he brought it up with Matt on the podcast which should really silence those rumours. <laughs> hey you, um, you guys are good right you and Tia? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's just tough right now because, like, they're in Nashville, we're in Cookville, and so I think, I mean, we're probably like an hour and a half from each other, but um, but she's training. So we linked up not too long ago. Uh, I mean, God. It, when yeah, you come totally. back, will you train with her again? 100%. Yeah. yeah. He basically says that they are friends and there's no truth in the rumours, but there is a lot of hesitation there. But I do believe him, I tend to believe people's words and he does seem genuine when he says it, but there is a lot of kind of hesitating pauses, but it might just be that he, there really isn't anything to tell and he's just a bit confused by the question. He does however mention that they are about an hour or so away from each other and he can't seem to recall the last time when they saw each other. And I would think if they were such good friends back then, which they really were, then you would kind of meet up. At the end of the day, we should really just believe Matt. And that's what I thought until I watched Tia's video recently. And Tia has just announced that she's training with Emma Lawson. It seems like, and this is just speculation, that they might be training together and she might be joining the Proven team, which seems a little bit like Tia's now got a horse in the race against Mal as well as herself. But if Tia does retire this year, then she might train Emma to go up against Mal, which is really interesting in itself. But then I notice something that I don't think a lot of people will. I notice song lyrics and I know because I create videos myself, I pick songs that have meaning. And I also know that we search for songs based on the kind of vibe and emotion that we're trying to get across. And Tia picked this very specific song to play over the clip of Emma Lawson. The lyrics say, you crossed the line, make sure you never forget it. Get ready, I'm about to even the score. And it says that I threw it a few times. So I managed to look it up and find out which song it was. And it is titled Even The Score. So whoever makes her videos could have even searched for this audio specifically to get across the point that there is some sort of score to be evened. And I think it's too much coincidence to ignore. But really, we still don't know. I mean, maybe we should just believe Matt and listen to what he said. For me, something isn't quite adding up. I do get a lot of DMs about it, but in reality, how many of these people DMing me or commenting on my posts actually know Matt and Tia? I think there is just a huge amount of speculation. I think sometimes a lot of us just look for stories stories within CrossFit and we want to relate to the athletes or we want to know the drama that's going on or we want people to have more stakes in the game like if Matt and Tia really did dislike each other and then they were training up these younger athletes to go up against each other that would be a really cool story so I totally understand people wanting drama let me know in the comments below what you think as for drama do you think the sport of CrossFit has gone too far do you think the games this year were excessive in some of the weird gymnastics movements and and double under crossovers they brought in. Watch this video next to find out what I think. Please fist bump that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.